Neely Gems. I'm going to show you how to make a small pine needle basket, a very simple one, with the kits that I am selling. So in the kit, you can pick from different colors of bottoms. They're very simple, about two inches across. You get one bottom, two packages of thread, two clips to hold your pine needles down, uh, two needles, and three different sizes of gauges. And these are to put your pine needles in to make sure that your rows are the same. You will also get one quarter pound of pine needles. So everything you need to make a simple basket. So when you're getting the pine needles ready, they have these little end caps on them. You'll wanna go ahead and cut those off or pull them off, and then you'll end up with pine needles like this. So you can, uh, I usually cut them and leave the part of the cap on and then remove them as I use them. That way they don't dry out as easily. So to start off with, there's some of this stuff. So to start off with, um, just, Get about four or five needles, whatever you're comfortable with, and pine needles, and then uh, tie a knot around it. I usually double the knot so it's very secure. Okay, then you place it alongside your basket bottom. Now see, these will all be drilled one quarter inch apart, so you don't have to do any of the work. It's all ready for you to go. Now, when I measure out my string, I usually go two arms length. You can go one arms length if it's more comfortable, but um, I usually go two. Now, I will go down in this first hole a couple times just to make sure it's secure. You don't want to spend time making something and then it come apart. So then I'm going to go to the back here and just tie that to the other piece of rope. So secure it very good down in there and leave a little piece here so that you can go back later and cut it off. But you need some leverage in there. So I've tied it down real good. The first knot is real good. I'll go back and I'll tape this down here. You'll see in the next part of the video, it'll be taped down. Okay. So this is what it looks like in front. Okay, then you're gonna go up and over, back down the next hole. So now when I am starting out on a basket bottom, when it's the first row, you can make just one stitch through the hole, but I like to do two or if it's a bigger project, maybe three, I want to make sure it's secure. So on this little basket, I'm just going to go through twice. Then you go to the next hole, up and over. Next hole, they're about a quarter inch apart. It will be all drilled for you and ready to go. So now when I get to here, I'm going to start trying to add some more. So you add your pine needles in, try to get into the middle of the grouping and, and put this shiny side out. <coughs> Excuse me, put the shiny side out. It's a little bit harder because you don't have a lot in here, but you want the shiny side to go outward and the dull side to go in because it'll look nicer. So see there, it's starting to get a little bit thicker. So as you go around, pull this over here. I'm gonna go through twice. So as you go around, you're gonna thicken up this row, this very first row. Now, you don't have enough pine needles yet to put one of your little gauges on. But as you go around, it'll get thicker. And as you're adding, it'll, you know, just build up. 
and you could put your gauge on. And then that's gonna help you keep your rows all the same size. I'm just gonna show you as I'm going around, one more stitch. I'm gonna add another pine needle, shiny shine. Now this one's a little twisted, but it kind of rolls it around when it gets in there. So just put it in there. And we're gonna leave this little tab. We'll go back when we get to that side and we will cut it down and then nestle the second row up against it. Now I'm gonna have to do these videos in about six minute lengths because otherwise it doesn't upload very well. So I'm just building up. Using my teeth a lot in here. Building it up to make a thicker coil. And I'm gonna keep going around. Go down here, we're gonna go down twice. Now that lives, gives this basket a nice little um, design as well too. Now I don't know why I picked red, I was thinking purple, but then I went with the red. So anyway, that's what it's gonna be. Because this is just a demonstration anyway. Okay, so there we go, we've started. Now, hopefully you could see how that's hooked down in here. This is what it looks like from the back. We've got the little tail there. I'm gonna tape that down and then we'll make sure it's really tight uh, before we cut it off and when I I'm gonna work my way around and when I get to the last hole here, I'm gonna show you how to clip that and then start your second row. Okay, that's what it's looking like. Hopefully you could see that. And this is seven minutes now, so I better stop.